Apologies in advance for the hammering noises, but I'll try to get through this as quickly as I can. So you're right in that you're starting with a block. In this case, I've got this as test box. And that's what I'm using to make my box with. So let's go ahead and make the NV part first. So I go into Content Builder. I've got a catalog that's separate. Again, you want to do this as a separate catalog. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new multi-view plot. Test box one. Okay, I get that in there, click OK. And here's the key part to understand. You got to tell it what type of part it is. In this case, it's an air handling unit, what layer it belongs on. So we're going to come down here and just find a layer to drop it on. We'll put it on the air handling units. Okay, and then we'll tell it what it is. It's an air handling unit. It's not going to break into something, it's not going to anchor to something. So we click Next. And this is the key part. You have to add the block. And then you go to text box one. Now when you do this, Revit will go ahead and throw these parts out here, but you want to tell it, Revit, oh sorry, Revit AutoCAD MEP, you want to tell it to go ahead and generate the blocks, and it will make all these blocks. And this is the reason why you want to remake this part instead of trying to edit it, because you'd have to edit all of these blocks individually if you change it from one part to another. So I'm going to go pick OK. Next, generate an image from the box to generate it next and I'm gonna go ahead and create that part so the part is made now and it's in the drawing so if I go to MV part add or MV part create it and then do it to get the dialog all right so there's my test box that I'm going to use I'm going to go ahead and just drop this into the drawing just so you can see it so there's the test box I'll hit enter so it goes in at that angle and then it's done now this is the part that you're probably missing on right here. When you pick this MV part, you got to look at the equipment and look at what it's actually set up to. And if you look at this, you'll see that this is this is the part. That's the name of the part itself. Okay. Now if I come back to it and I look at the style, here's my views, and this shows me all the different blocks. So if I go into the block editor, I'm going to see a block reference for every one of these. And you, this is the actual name of the blocks that have been created in here. So if you were doing this, you'd have to edit every one of these blocks if you were changing it from a box to a symbol. So if I pick OK just to see this, if I go to the block editor now, and I open this up, and let's say I want to pick the 3D model piece. Let's just use that as an example. So there's my test box model 3D. That's what I wanted to use. I go ahead and I click OK. So this is the actual 3D box, and I'm going to type in cylinder, I create another cylinder here. We'll drop it right here in the middle, just draw it out, and I'm going to tell it this is going to be one foot tall. So now I've got that cylinder. So if you look at this, I'm actually redefining the block in here so that it does have that sitting on top of it. So once I save the block and I close the block editor, when I go look at a 3D view now, you'll see how the part's updated. Again, this is where the problem is. It's not that the problem isn't the part isn't being redefined for you. It's that you've got to edit every single one of those blocks. When I look at this, you have to go back here and edit the style. And everywhere you see this view, you have to edit every one of these blocks. My opinion, I would do it over again. I would not try to replace it. Because then when you get one that you want, all you're doing at this point is simply going over and modifying what that is. You're saying, hey, I don't want it to be that part. I want it to be something else. So instead of test box one, I can come over here and say, Hey, let's change this to, to just cube to cylinder. Let's just do a basic block. And then I'm swapping the part out. And again, I've already modified that for one. But you get the idea here. It's better for you to redefine these parts if you're making a modeling change. But if you're doing it, you have to edit all 16 or 17 of those blocks. Hope this helps. If you need some more help with it, just give me a buzz.